Well, welcome back to a new video, guys. Going to be only out for a few hours today. Just going to do a spot of lure fishing. Got the Fox Prism Predator lure rod. Nice little Savage Gear Sink and Draw Albino Trout. Got some other lures with me as well. And going to be dropping into a few likely swims, doing a bit of lure fishing. Now, do mind the camera angle, as I say. I am going to be head mounting the camera and um, so it just gives you guys a better first person perspective of any strikes that I might get and where I'm casting to and what likely features that I'm fishing. Anyway, I don't want to waffle on, that's the sum of it. Got a multitude of lures but I do love this albino trout so we're going to start on that and uh, yeah, crack on and let's uh, see if we can get a do as you likey pikey or two. Don't laugh. We're in. That was quick. Oh. Oh, that was quick, guys. That was quick. Not a bad fish either. Oh. Excuse, excuse my French, guys. Oh no. Oh. Mm. 
Way to start a trip. Second bite of the apple, I reckon. Lucky bastard, I am. Get in the net. Oh, wasn't that jammy, hey? How jammy was that? Excuse the expletives of me swearing, but this fish picked it up in the edge just as I was just testing the action of the lure. Then proceeded to play me merry havoc, then slip the hook, and then I got a second bite of the apple. It's a nice low double figure pike, just over 11 pounds, 11 pounds and three ounces. It's a beautiful looking fish. What a way to start a short fishing trip on the lures. I tell you what, if that's the only fish of this trip, I'll be absolutely ecstatic. What a gorgeous fish. Lovely head to it, lovely build. Excuse me where I've got the camera propped, it's the best I can do. But yeah, happy, happy days. What a gorgeous looking pikey. Lovely, lovely way to start the trip. What a lovely looking creature. This means I'll try not to slide in. <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> oh, yeah, little tiger. Yeah, we beastie. <laughs> oh. Thank <laughs> you. 
good to just like you know, in the chunk perch fishing always good to fish in near bank margins and your far margins never ignore your near bank margins especially where you've got weed beds and the banks also a bit scaled out by floods and a little bit deeper you love fish love lurking if there's anything I've learned over the years with all my chub fishing and fishing in general fish love lurking zones Oh, I thought that was a knock then. I'm not 100 percent sure it did feel like a little knock. I'm still very much in the infancy with my lure fishing. I love it but I don't do enough of it, I'm afraid. Oh that's definitely a hit. Definitely a hit. Bloody knew it. Bloody knew it and it still made me jump out of my flipping skin. <laughs> You're living a charm life, mate. You're living a charm life. I don't get away with it every time. I'm a coming for you, little packy. I'm a coming for you. Hello, little. Oh, oh, he's just left it again. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I just really scared this. Speed up the retrieve, bounce it a little bit. Yep. <laughs> Lovely. There we go. Excuse the um, cameras just on my uh, on my bag. Uh, that one come back for a few knocks and second, and third bite of the apple. Sped the retrieve up. And it absolutely hammered it. Lovely. Two pike. And uh, yeah, it's a very pleasant trip. This one's not massive but very welcome, <laughs> bit of a cheeky snatch and grabber, did wonder if it was going to come back for a third chance, <laughs> anyway it's going to slip back. Well the old albino trout's doing the business but it is getting knackered, slowly but surely, but yeah very nice and um, if anyone's wondering what I'm using, am I using a wire trace, no I'm using a very very heavy fluorocarbon trace. That's a really, really heavy fluorocarbon. I know a few seasons back, one of the anglers said to me, if you're going to use fluoro trace, Mark, make sure it's thick and heavy. So that's really, believe me, guys, really, really sturdy and some. But yeah, that um, pike, I, knew, I thought it looked a nice slack, you know, and um, felt it just fud the rod a couple of times. And that typical, on the second or third cast, what was it, the, the fish obviously popped up just as you're bringing the lure out of the water 
always expect it to happen and then when it does happen you're like oh is it gonna come back and yeah it did come back that's nice. been a real enjoyable short trip don't do enough lure fishing it suits my style of angling so much because as you know guys i like to travel light and you travel light with lures so yeah i always end up not doing enough of it and enjoying it to hell when i do so yeah and it always pays off because obviously i know a lot of my swims and a lot of my stretches of rivers for the chub in the barbel and generally if you know those kind of areas you'll know where the pike are as well but yeah nice it's good 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 bit of fun good bit of medication good bit of medicine anyway let's crack on i think we've got a couple of hours left max maybe get fish until four maximum and um yeah try a few more spots see if we can get another pike to add to the other two or maybe another couple of pike I do need to actually um, <clears throat> really keep an eye on my retrieve at times, the actual speed. Sometimes I'm still way too fast. I need to learn to really slow it down more and keep my finger off the real handle. <laughs>
definitely had a bite here. Definitely had a pick up. Yeah, oh, I'm not. Uh, hook holes, didn't get a good hook hole at all. Oh, <sighs> Rolex, man. Rolex. Let's see if we can get a second bite of the apple. I doubt that. So, uh, But if I was Bear Grylls, it would give me the strength I needed to carry on. I really don't think I'm going to get another chance off that fish somehow. I've just got a feeling it's... I've shot my load, I'm afraid. Lovely slack over there. Lovely slack. Just perfect for predators to hang out there. And just perfect for people to lose lose the predator when they get a chance.
this time, mate. Not this time, sunshine. There we go. <laughs> well, there we go. Very nice of it to definitely paid me another chance there and another visit after losing it. I didn't get a strike on that the first time. But yeah, certainly hit it the second, I say second time, after a few casts, which managed to annoy it enough, I think. Yeah, lovely. Three lovely looking pike. Might be still time for one more, who knows. Beautiful markings. Can't beat a river pike in my opinion. Anyway, let's get this one slip back. Crack. Well, I've just got the rod and net to put down, strap onto my bike and head off home. I'll tell you what, I switched to that little fluorescent orange and yellow shad, ribbed shad, because I had, believe it or not, I had a perch pick up and I had it hooked on the bigger lure. So I thought I'd change to that one just to see if I could pick up another chance at a perch. Now, albeit that this rod that I'm using is for chucking and casting big lures for pike, but yeah, can't moan, can I? It's been enjoyable. Three nice pike, lucky to get second bites at the apple and second chances with them as well um, yeah very fortunate but yeah that they've all beautiful fish but yeah I've got to say that 11 pound fish was an absolute corking fish and to have it so early on in the trip was just um, just perfect but it always makes you wonder is that going to be the fit best fish of the trip and is it going to be a bit of a you know anti-climax but um, yeah it's been enjoyable free pike stayed a bit longer than I expected the old geese of geese are flying over yeah so I stayed a bit longer than I expected but it's been really really good fun and I always think about this when I'm lure fishing I always think to myself you know Mark you should be doing more lure fishing it's one of the styles of angling that suit your style of angling because I travel light and um, yeah once I start on a trip with it 
I can't pull myself away. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope the camera viewpoint wasn't too bad being first person perspective, but please do understand it is a lot better and easier for me when I'm moving swim to swim with a lure to have the camera mounted on my bonds. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been thoroughly pleasurable as always to bring it to you guys. And just like to say, it's always, always nice to have your support on the channel. Anyway, the geese are making a racket and I'm going to be heading off home. Till my next video, tight lines and wherever you're fishing, wherever you're wetting the line, wherever you're dangling your end tackle, may the force be strong with you. See you on my next video. Goodbye guys.